Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 7-8 Contest, Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the question is, a hydraulic pump pumps oil from a filled cylinder with radius 3 cm and length 9 cm into a second empty cylinder with radius 9 cm and same length. If all of the oil from the first cylinder is poured, what is the filling height of the second cylinder? Alright, so now the question says that it, a hydraulic pump pumps oil, and we know that oil is a liquid. So therefore, when all the oil is pumped from this cylinder to this cylinder, well then the volume must be the exact same because liquid is not compressed. Alright, now from the question we know that the filled cylinder has radius 3 centimeters and length 9 centimeters and then that gets pumped, that oil gets pumped into a second cylinder with radius 9 centimeters and the same length of 9 centimeters. Okay, so now we know that we're dealing with the volume of a cylinder. So now let's write this down. We have V is equal to and now we have the area of the circle of the first cylinder which is here so we'll call that A1 and that is multiplied by the length of that cylinder, the first cylinder well, which is also the length of both cylinders so we'll just call that L and that is equal to the area of the circle of the second cylinder, which we'll call A2, and that is multiplied by the filling height, because that's what we want to find out for the second cylinder. So we'll call that H. Okay, so now we, what we want to find out is H, which is the filling height of the second cylinder. So we want H on one side. So we will divide everything by a2. So it's just H. And then on the left side, we have A1 divided by A2. And then multiplied by L. Alright. So now again we have it's equal to H. And now for the area of the circle for the first cylinder, we have pi times r1 squared, which is over pi times r2 squared. And then, of course, that is multiplied by L. So, here, of course, we can cancel pi. So, we have pi and pi. So now we can substitute in. So we know that the radius of the first cylinder was 3. So we have 3 squared centimeters squared over. Then we had 9 squared centimeters squared. And then that is multiplied by the length which is 9 centimeters. and that's equal to h. Alright, so we have centimeters squared and centimeters squared, then we have the 9 and 1 of the 9, so that instead of 9 to the power of 2, now it's just 9 to the power of 1 in the denominator, and here we have 3 squared, which is 9. So 9 over 9 is equal to 1, 1 centimeter, so h is 1 centimeter. So, therefore, we know that the filling height of the second cylinder is one centimeter. Now, we didn't actually need to know the formula for the area of a circle, because we know that if we scale any 2D shape, whether it's completely irregular or regular, as long as the shape stays the same and only the size is getting scaled by, let's say, a factor of x, 
Well then all the lengths, any, any length, like for example the circumference of the, the 2D shape, then that grows by a factor of x. But the area grows, or it, well grows by x squared because it's two dimensional. So like x times x. So now, let's see how that relates to our problem here, or yeah, our problem. So we had a three as a radius and nine as a radius. So this radius is three times bigger than this one. And since we know that the area goes squared, it grows by x squared if the, the factor is x. So here that would be three. So three squared is nine. So that means that this area must be nine times greater than that area. And since this length is nine in the numerator, so we have nine divided by nine, then that must be one. And that can be used for any 2D shape. So again, whether it's regular or completely irregular. So you don't even need to know the formula for the area of a circle. All right, so the answer is one centimeter. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.